Hey guys, I'm back in the States, and obviously the astute listeners will realize that, well, it's been a while since we put out an episode. That's just been because I've been recovering from a month of travel, and I appreciate the patience. And me and Dave will be getting back to episodes real soon. In the meantime, we do have an exciting opportunity. You may remember we've talked about a scope giveaway in the past, and this is that giveaway. So, uh, if you would like to participate, here's how it's going to work. What you do is you share your favorite Amp Hour episode on some social medium. doesn't matter what it is, if it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email to colleagues, anything like that. But the difference is everyone has to screenshot this and then send it to contest at theamphour.com. That's ultimately how you enter this contest. So you have to screenshot whatever you shared and send it to contest at theamphour.com. Only one entry, please. You know, we're going to we're going to check them all. Please, you know, just make it make our lives easy. That'd be great. All right. So we did not have a record an episode this week. This is actually a recording between Dave and Shariar. If you don't know, Shariar was actually a guest on a past episode of the Amp Hour, episode 228. So you can go and listen to that one right after you hear this, or you can go let, listen to that one instead. But either way, or you could share that one as, as part of your contest entry. doesn't matter which episode you share, just your favorite episode would be the one to share. Uh, yeah, so enjoy this. This is also on video if you prefer to see that. Dave talked to Shariar in Sydney uh, a couple days ago, and the audio is here. We'll be back to our regular episodes next week. We're not in the lab. And yes, that might be someone you know. Sharia from the Signal Path. Yes. Good hello. to meet you, Sharia. Likewise. Awesome. I finally made it to Australia. It was a very, very long trip. <laughs> he, he hasn't slept. He's yeah, like. Yeah, so yeah. I took six hours to get to LA and then 15 hours to get to Melbourne and then an hour to get to Sydney. So it's all in a row. So I, anyway, that's why my hair looks like this. It's a <laughs> consequence of that. Still looks trendier than mine. You know, it's just. Yeah, anyway. Where? No, we're not in the lab. We're at some super secret location. Yes, it's very secret. I don't know. Guess. Anyway, it's quiet. The reason we're in here is because it's quiet. And I don't know what we're going to talk about. Yeah, so I, I thought that... No, um, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah I we were a... talking, we were having lunch before and right. you were mentioning what were we talking about. Well, I, I thought it would be cool to have a conversation uh, just about our experiences yep. and what we work on and some of, some of the state of the other electronic stuff that, you know, that I sometimes come across and have a chat, just, just like a yep. conversation that as if you guys are part of it, I think it would be interesting. Yeah, so one of the things I was talking about, actually, I purposely didn't tell this day ah, now, so I'm right. say it now. All right. So when I first started doing YouTube, uh, it was because I couldn't teach at Columbia University as an adjunct professor because they started to require a green card and we didn't have one at the time. So I said, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. So then I started one. And uh, at the time, your channel was also pretty young, right? You had yeah, just I was starting, right? Yep. So yep. he, you know, Dave's channel was still growing. So I went to his forum and I advertised my channel <laughs> on his forum. So at the time, you know, this was obviously, you know, could have been a competitive thing. But I remember what Dave said to me, and I haven't told him the story yet, but I remember it. So he wrote, he, he wrote back and he said to me that his exact words were, I'm glad that more and more people are taking this path of educating people and I'm going to be your first subscriber. So Dave was my first was subscriber. I? That's right. Was I? Yeah. So I, I did. Yeah. I did. I, can't remember, I, re, I thought I remembered your first email, but I, I don't remember replying that I was going to Yeah, so you put, you put this on your right. forum. Oh, on did one, I? Because I put okay. a post on a forum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the reason I say right. this is because I, I was moved by that because it was at the Excellent. heart of Dave's right. intentions in my eyes. His intention was like, we want to educate, we want to yep. provide content, right? And it wasn't all about, oh, I'm like, going to get this guy off my, you know. Competition, so anyway, out, yeah, out, out yeah, of my turf, yeah, I'm exactly, number one. Exactly, I want to, you exactly. know, yeah. So, so anyway, <laughs> right. I wanted to thank him. I want to thank no him first. Right. I can't say, I didn't tell him that story before. There is yeah. a, that's anyway, it's a very uh, pure hearted approach to it and I appreciate it. Excellent. So, anyway, so I've been doing, I mean, my yeah. channel is peanuts compared to, you know, Dave's We, we did say the signal path, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah, signal I mean, path, it's, it's a, the, the signal path. Path. Com, yeah. signal path on yeah. YouTube. I mean, I, my video, I, I have a fraction of the number of episodes that they have. I think I've yeah. my, I'm 90 episodes or something, yeah. 100. But videos. yours are much more involved, usually. My, almost all of them are much more involved than yeah. mine in terms of production. Right, I mean, the, the, the thing is, the difference a little bit is that I, I tend to target a little bit more advanced topics. Yeah. Uh, and I felt that was a little bit of what was missing in, in YouTube. And 
it's a challenge in itself because they're very advanced topics, they're very esoteric. So the, the number of people who are interested in them is actually much smaller, right? Yeah. So by definition, when you make something more advanced and less people watch it, but then that those people who watch it hopefully get more out of it because they're like, okay, this content just doesn't exist. And then I kind of started getting into this really high-end instruments and mm -hmm. t taught, you know, did some teardowns of like the Lacroix 100 gigahertz oscilloscope yeah. and key sites, uh, 60 gig scope and stuff like that. So then people started mm -hmm. to enjoy that. Yeah, so uh, anyway, they have an app, you know, always in, in touchy here and there, and we did that amp hour episode. We did the here. amp hour, which is yeah. very popular. I'll link that yeah. one in down below. It's like an hour and a half or two hours right, or something yeah. of us yeah. yapping away. Yeah, yeah and the reason great. we are not in, in the lab is because <coughs> Dave's lab is like on the other side of the planet, basically. So yep. I, we decided, yeah, it was it was just too much. I'm only here for one day. Yeah. So we came. Yeah, you here. flew here just just to see me. Yeah, so I, I just really appreciate that. that. Well, yeah. you're in Melbourne, you know, it's a one hour flight. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't couldn't miss it. <laughs> couldn't <laughs> couldn't miss it. But yeah. yeah, it's hard when you only got one day. Yeah. To us to get back to the lab and do something. So sorry, I know people wanted to see us do. Yeah, a, a tutorial, tutorial together or a tear down, but. It's, it's a lot of work, as yeah. you can attest to. It's, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. an opportunity will come yeah. up in the future. But definitely, uh, anyway, it's yeah. just good to, to have a chat. And uh, yeah, go from there. So uh, mm. yeah, that's basically the, the experience of YouTube. Yeah. Now, we were talking about at, at this at lunchtime, and it ties into the, uh, uh, the you couldn't teach. So you thought you'd teach yeah. on YouTube. And you were saying, even though you don't have a huge number of, total number of viewing yes, yes. hours, the yes. total uh, across all your channel, it was more than a lifetime's worth of a yeah. regular teacher. At yeah, this university. is really the, this is really the extraordinary yeah. part of being on YouTube. Even even for me, so YouTube gives you statistics, so you can actually mm. see how many minutes people Watch have spent. So I might try and videos. overlay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so exactly, this is different than number of views because people can open a you know an episode and close and then never yep. watch it. But you can tally it all up. And and for me, even as a small channel, mm -hmm. it's fifty three years, right? Fifty three yep. years of continuous human consciousness at the content that I have as yep. a single person. I mean, the reach is extraordinary. It's ridiculous. You, you, and you're only a relatively small channel yeah, in terms I mean, of I, YouTube. I, I, yeah, you're you're kind of big yeah. in the engineering space. Yeah, but it's, but it's nothing it, in terms yep. of action. But this is this really, the, this yeah. digital access is this revolutionized completely mm. the way it's totally changed. Community. And it's, it's unbelievable. And yeah. it's for me, it's doubly meaningful because I work in the industry that develops the circuits that go into the systems that enable this communication. Yep. So the fact that we can get on our cell phones and this and that so much data, I mean, that data has to come from somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So we are constantly working on the next generation optical circuits or wireless circuits for you know, 5G systems, for example, or the next generation of coherent communication systems yep. with the optics. And this is kind of both ways. So I'm both the user of that ecosystem and, and in a small way, the creator of that ecosystem. So it's pretty interesting. Yeah. It's great. Have you ever divided the number of total number of watch hours by your total views and got an average view yeah. figure? I, yeah, yeah, I have, <laughs> yeah. I have. So, you know, my videos are typically about an I'll hour. I'll get a drink. Yeah, I, I know, about an hour or so, you know, the long ones. But uh, they're not always an hour long. And it, it turns out that the amount of time people are willing to spend to watch something is actually only about 10 to 15 minutes. Tops. So Yeah, so for me it's a little mm. more because people tend to watch the episode. But again, it's very specific. But if you look at some of the most successful YouTube channels, their videos are only seven, Six, eight, seven yeah, minutes, five, seven it. minutes long. Yeah. This is a sweet spot. It's yeah. the YouTube sweet spot. That's right. But you and can't do anything in six no, no, minutes. No, no, no. You, you, you right? can't do a tutorial. No, you, you can, cannot. No, you can do like what is and then a few yeah. basic things, but not right. really, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we were so, talking about, uh, yeah. you know, Electro Boom. Uh, <laughs> Uh, which we both love, by the way. We both love, I, I, I but he's it caters yeah. to a different audience. Yeah, and it's it's amazing yeah. because he started after both of us, right? Yeah. And he has now doubled the number of subscribers as Dave has, which is just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. And he also, I think, is starting to yeah. uh, just only do YouTube. Yeah, so. it's, it's a full-time job, yeah, which full -time is great job, to see. Yeah. And it's good to see another person get into debunking. Yes, he's done some he's debunking done that, yeah. recently, and we we're talking about that la at lunchtime as well. Yeah, yeah. Debunking, I think yeah. and you think how important you think debunking? Because you've done, you did a video on the importance of science. Yes, I did on the something. scientific that's method. Right. Yeah, I did a little bit on uh, <coughs> yep. free energy and kind of the scientific and method. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And but I, you I haven't debunked anything. Yeah, no, have you got plans I to do that? No, Any I mean, if, if something comes, I, I definitely do. The, right. the thing is, I just haven't had a chance. And also, you right. do it, you do it so much better. <laughs> so right. I, I haven't I haven't done anything like that. But I mean, if something comes, I'm sure up, you could. I, I I would you know play yeah. around with it. But it's really important. 
especially mm -hmm. nowadays with uh, wh where the line between what I feel is true and what and, actually yeah, yeah. is true yeah. is blurred, right? And you don't want that at all, especially in a, in a scientific yep. environment. So to, to tell people, look, this is not just that this is fake, but mm. this is how I know it's no, fake. It's right? fake. That, yep. that process, that thought process yep. is what you want people to learn from. And after all, that's yep. what science is. Our scientific method is just that. So this, I think, is really valuable. And I know that those are actually really mm. popular videos, which is good. They, they are quite, people everyone like, like the debunking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes like they say it's too much, which I understand. You know, like especially if it's doing the one thing over and I like hammering it to death. Yeah. You know, yeah. solar roadways, battery yes, yes, or all the rest yeah. of it. And sometimes it does yeah. take a little longer to debunk something. You can't mm. just come and say five sentences and then yep. say, okay, it's bad, right? Yep. You have to reason it out. Sometimes it takes time to reason it out. And that's just part of the reality of debunking stuff. Uh, so, uh, audio file stuff is the yeah. classic everyone says do an audio file yeah, okay. debunking of audio files and you can't yeah. you're act it's actually impossible you can measure everything yes and their argument is you just have to listen yeah it's like yeah. you cannot argue yeah. that the, the problem with that yeah, you know, the problem is that the, the person's yeah. perception and emotions yeah play into the experience and right? and they can actually hear a difference yeah, and, and, it, to exactly. them it's different yeah. so you know like yeah it or, just yeah. sucks when somebody comes yep. and says you know put these uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. crystal pillars under your cables <laughs> and it's gonna make it <laughs> everything yeah it'll yeah. span the depth yeah depth, it, it, the it sound stage, you yeah. know. but if you want to yeah, drop yeah. a couple of thousand dollars so the music sounds better to your ears yeah by all means <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's actually different but anyway that, that that's that yep. those that type of market is yeah okay it's mm. toxic and so on for, for yeah whatever but that the, the things that cause people to spend money on something or tax dollars on something that could be used for something more important, yep. those are much more important. Yeah. I, 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 I care about tax dollars yes. and I care about the regular Joe public yep. in being duped into a crowdfunder or an investment. So if you want to spend yep. your own money, go for yep. it. Exactly. You know, it's like, I'll, I'll support you. you know? yep. like, exactly. It's your right to do it. Yeah, but when you take other people's money, tax money yeah. is very different. Yeah. That's my money. Yeah, and that yeah, yeah. this this is probably a much bigger deal in the medical, uh, fake medicine, uh, right? All that. That's that's that yeah. really bothers me, and it yeah. goes, you know, yeah, at the, the, the homeopathy and yeah, the, all that uh, nonsense. All that, yeah. uh, but there's nothing you can do about this. <laughs> no, but the, I'm glad that at least in our expertise we can sometimes comment on something. Yep. Yeah. So the other thing I want to talk a little bit about is. Um, some of the, the stuff that's happening in, in the electronics world that I thought you might mm -hmm. you guys might find interesting. Let's so obviously do. you all know about Moore's Law, right? This yep. is a very, very, very uh, famous thing. Check it's been the there yep. for, uh, for all that stuff. But Moore's Law in terms of it in, in its traditional sense mm -hmm. actually is not really going on anymore, right? No, no, it's yeah. almost ended. Has it ended, do you think? Yeah, or I mean, is it almost, it's, it, it's going uh, to go one, a little one, bit longer. Almost a generation yeah. away from and, Yeah, I mean, Intel already skipped one generation of right. the scaling, right? So yeah. Moore's Law in its most traditional sense it refers to the fact that yeah. I can simply double the computational yeah. capacity of something because I can cram more stuff in it at the same space that it was before. But we're hitting those limits. Yeah, so once you hit those limits, then obviously <coughs> you can't just cram more transistors and expect things to mm. become better, right? So then you have to change. So now... But there is still a Moore's Law going on, but at a, a layer above. Mm -hmm. So now the computational capability of systems will continue to grow, but not at, right. but not simply riding the, the transistor scaling laws. So it actually... How, so how does that happen? So it happens by... It now becomes a, a hybrid of a system, right? So it's right. now software, a combination of software, combination yep. of hardware together, and design techniques rather mm -hmm. than having access to the next technology is going to create that uh, and is it packaging out. techniques as well flip yes. like uh, the, the double flip yeah, chip like a, the memory on the back of the right. processor yeah, yeah. and all exactly. that exactly so now, now yeah, you've yeah. got 3D integration yep. and so on and, yep. and, and more and more some right. of that and you can even think about some of the uh, parallelization of software as 4D integration because now you're right. parallelizing in time and anyway yep. things like that so but yeah, that's kind of where it is headed. Uh, I mean, I don't design microprocessors. My work is on millimeter wave ASICs for you know wireless and optical systems. But so even for in my field, this Moore's law now refers to the entire capacity of the system. Not just, oh, okay. Not just so the they, so it's understood that it applies to a yeah, different thing. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. have to if you want right. to continue okay. because okay. all you care about is computational yep. capability. If yep. computational capability continues to go up, then you can say that okay, we are we're riding right. that. Yeah, nonetheless, yeah. So it's interesting to see that this is still going to continue. So if anyone ever tells you, okay, Moore's Law is dead, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, it, it is in one in one sense, yes. Uh, then there's other thing is that the cost 
per transistor actually hasn't been going down anymore. No, right? that's right. So if you want to do uh, a, a new fabrication run on a seven nanometer state of the art, so memory is not going to get any huge. cheaper. No, the cost of the, the, the except when they amortize the fab yeah. cost and the yeah. So uh, it, the, it the depends on rate. scale numbers, right? right. Not numbers. If you, if you want to make something only ten thousand of something, mm -hmm. and you want to put it in the state of the art submit, it's going to be it's it's an yeah. niche. Just the first time you submit for that fabrication, you're looking at a couple million, right? So if you're not selling yeah. and selling them by millions, it's yeah. just not the mask cost of production is just so high that it doesn't make any Got sense. It. Yeah. Dummy question out of left field. Um, the RF millimeter wave stuff yeah. that you're working on. Yeah. Is there an bad analogy, but is there like an FPGA equivalent in mm. that sort of field, so to so, speak? So there, you does everything the, have to be totally custom from scratch, or can you sort yeah, of depends on what you're learn. doing. Depends yeah? on what you're doing. Okay. So so. If you want to think of the, in the analogy of the FPGA, like you were saying, so you know this whole software-defined radio business, yep. right? It's, I mean, it's huge. Right. It's the whole, be. yeah. I mean, yeah. you you probably know about software-defined radio from the little dongles you can buy or things like that. But in reality, what software-defined radio in a in a real mm -hmm. communication system is is that I can have one box that can work across a wide range of frequencies, can yep. interface with a wide range of modulation formats and communication formats, and interpret them. Yep. So. In theory, you could build a system that behaves like an FPGA as a hybrid. Right. But on a single chip, has anyone built a software-defined radio in no that one's, sense? No. Uh, maybe some in backhaul radio. They build really broadband uh, radios that can be, but they're not really quite the way you want. You can't just program it and you know do it. I mean, right. It's more custom-made. Yeah. At lower frequencies in the ISM bands, yep. yes. Like quad band and penta band or whatever, all those things you can do. But once you go into the higher and higher, like at 5G, the, mm -hmm. the, the next generation of communication, where we're actually going to jump to 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz carries. And that, that'll be consumer level? Yeah, it, stuff? it's going to be. This, right. Everybody and their uncle is working on 5G radio now. <laughs> right, so okay. It's going to happen at some point. Is though. that because that's a more ideal frequency? Atmospheric wise, or is it a regulatory band yeah. that's available? How yeah, it's, why, it's why, a regular, why that? So it's a band they've allocated to right. it. Right, yeah, okay. So it's I think, I think right. it's 800 megahertz around 28, yep. uh, 29 gigahertz. Is that available in every country? I think some of them are actually quite international. I'm not sure right. about uh, in Australia, but even higher frequencies in Japan, for example, above 100 gigahertz is available right. if you want to use. But then things become a lot more difficult. Yeah. Okay. So is that, the, I, I heard is someone, that atmospheric or is that chip level difficult? Both, probably. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. difficult for a couple of reasons. For example, 28 gigahertz just doesn't go through your house, especially right. if it's raining. Yep. Uh, the attenuation, if it's raining, is huge. Mm -hmm. um, and they also want to do a phase array, so they want to do beam forming in the air yep. so that they target individuals uh, with a beam. And that is a totally different style of communication than broadcast mode that we're used to in cellular <coughs> networks. Exactly. So it's going to be completely different. And uh, yeah, so it's I'll, I'd like to see how it's going to play out. But everybody's working on it. And obviously Nokia is working on it, which is where I work in Bell Labs. But uh, yeah, everyone knows about this. So it's not a secret. But um, it's going to be quite difficult and interesting mm -hmm. to see. It's going to have to be very inexpensive in order to be com you know, competitive with the 4G networks and so on. Right. Yeah. Do we have to change our processes our semiconductor processes to manufacture no. this sort of stuff. It's all. No, is, it's is it standard. like silicon on sapphire? What is it? What, what's the process? No, it's just any any basic silicon. Any, any basic silicon yeah, I mean, you can if, do. Yeah, if you look at if you look at the companies who are working yeah. on these kind of things, everybody builds them in the technology that they're the expert at, right? So, right. so if you go to a company that does, um, let's just say as a hypothetical, this is a, this is not an actual example, just take yeah. a hypothetical. One. Let's say, take Qualcomm, right? So Qualcomm does CMOS, does builds mm -hmm. lots and lots of CMOS chipsets. And so if they were to build, they would they're gonna, build it in CMOS. They're going to yeah. choose CMOS. Yeah, because that's what their, all their libraries are in. That's what but I thought there were physical in. limitations, especially in the RF domain, uh, of, any, of the substrate material. Uh, any, any advanced CMOS process that is used for making microprocessors yeah. these days is, is good enough to it's make. It's good enough to oh, make, yeah. really? Yeah, you can even Interesting. Build, you, can go, you can even build I thought you had to go e e really exotic materials. No, to, no, you don't need no. to. No, not anymore. So Maybe. what's the advantage of the exotic materials like silicon on sapphire? So things like, um, not just silicon on sapphire specifically, that's really yeah. exotic. Right, right? That's yeah, yeah. Almost no, I, I don't think <laughs> I, I've well, ever <laughs> seen anyone use it. We've got uh, one well. fab in here in yeah, Sydney that does it. Yeah, and they also make really small waves. Yeah, right. And it actually looks really beautiful. You can see right through the wave. <coughs> uh, but uh, 
<clears throat> so in 3-5 gallium arsenide and indium phosphate process, the advantage of those processes is, is the mm. fact that they have, that they kind of combine very high speed with very high breakdown voltages. So you can make really high power PAs. Uh, I got it, really, okay. Really, really low yeah. noise LNAs and things like that. Low noise so they'd be used on the front end amplifier, yeah, yeah. front end RF amplifier. Right, right. But the problem with them yeah, is yeah. that they are A, very expensive, right. uh, and B is that they, they don't offer a uh, level of integration. So you can't, for example, build a microprocessor or a huge rig. With a little bit of yeah. silicon. So no, you, no, you're no, going to have to break it up. Yeah, so yeah. as soon as you yeah. want to say, I, I want to. You're going to go on a board. Yeah, you're going to either or in a package or something yeah, like yeah. that. And right. then, then you lose the. And also right. for 3.5 technologies, they have to be hermetically sealed. So you. So moisture is a problem. Yeah, moisture and oxygen, all this right. stuff. So you, you, whereas silicon is not. Silicon can be exposed. Ah, and it's glass, interesting. Right? So, yeah, that's, yeah. so that's a huge, it may not seem like much. But it's but huge. It is a huge advantage. Even even though some of some plastic packages are actually not. Hermetic. They're not hermetically sealed. Yeah, you need, yeah, they they can you need get a, in. some kind of a metallic dome over it. Yep. Yeah, so that increases the cost right. by an enormous amount. So. Yeah, and level of integration. I mean, that's what silicon does, right? Silicon is on, an, on a transistor level, an individual mm. transistor level, is not the highest performance thing in the world. Yeah, but right? you can easily beat it with some other technology. But it's the integration that gives it the power. Right. I'm going to put so much functionality onto it that there's just you're not going to be able to yep. beat. You know, for, for example, especially for beam forming, <coughs> yes, I cannot make a power amplifier that puts out a watt. Mm. But I can build a thousand power, a little amp power amplifiers, and combine their power, Got and you will never beat that with anything in terms of integration and cost eventually. Yeah. So this is no, but military uses a lot of three five, uses yep. a lot of gallium arsenide because the military doesn't care so much about the cost, and also they want you know exceptional performance mm -hmm. and things that silicon just simply simply doesn't give you. Right. Yeah, they want the 0.5 dB noise figure at a certain frequency. You just cannot cannot get that. So. And that also temperature ranges and things like that. But yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, they 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 is the reason actually three five and and gas and so on advanced so much was because the U.S. military put so much money into it right. uh, for their communication. Yeah, that's the other the other thing that's really the, the military doesn't care about FCC regulations, right? Right. They can they can radiate. They can do whatever they want. Whatever power you want, yep. and whatever yep. frequency you want, yep. and no one cares. So yep. they can jam you. They can uh, yep. do what. Yeah, they don't care about that stuff. So. <laughs> That's why it makes it a little bit easier to design. But if you want Got to build, uh, if you want to build something, let's say you want to build a 5G system, mm. it's not enough to make it work at 20 gigahertz. Yep. You also have to make sure it doesn't emit outside of your band. It doesn't emit anything in the other frequency. This is also true for lower frequencies too, which is very difficult yep. to, to do, especially when the channels, uh, like Wi-Fi channels, are so close to each other. Of course, yeah, at, it's, it's at, a big deal. Yeah, at, at higher frequencies, they're further apart. Yep. It relax them a little bit. Because otherwise, no one would be able to build anything. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's the kind of stuff that uh, is really interesting and exciting. And then the packaging, like you said, and 3D yep. integration, and at the system level, the optimization that takes you another step forward. Yeah. Got it. Awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna stop. Sure. I'm gonna stop because you're um you're almost out shot there. Or it's hard to get us. Yeah. It's hard to get us both in shot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're good to go. We got. I think we've got about 50 minutes left. Okay. Back on education. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, <laughs> it's one of the one of the things that I value very, very highly, yep. and goes at the heart of again why why I do a lot of this. You were a teacher, right? Oh, do you still teach? Still do uh, some teaching? I'm hopefully go back to once I my gonna visa green card stuff first uh, get sorted out, become yep. an adjunct professor again at Columbia University, and so uh, you can work in the U.S. but you can't teach. Yeah, so the, the way it works that the visa is tied to one location, right? So if you're oh. on a work visa, you can only work for the place where the work visa was issued. But then if you're a green card, you can work anywhere. Yeah, which is what I'm in the Got process of, of, of completing. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's, that's obviously a limitation. But uh, education is just so important because, not just because of the content you teach, mm. but because of the, the style, the mentality, this thought process yeah. uh, that's really important. And, yeah, I think I talked a little bit about that um, in, in one of my videos before also is, I think Bill Gates said this once. I think he was mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia or, or some, some country in there, Dubai maybe. And one of the people asked them, so what is, uh, how, how would you recommend our nation to bring, to, to advance, yep. to become to a point, for example, like the United States? And I believe his answer was somewhere along the line of that you have alienated 50% of your population <laughs> with talent. Right? Yes, you, you exactly. Off. Straight off the bat. Yeah, right off the Straight bat. So you're up. already starting yep. with yep. At, at 50%. So as long as that continues... Yep. so You can't do it. You can't you, do it. I'm screwed. Yeah, so the, 
my goal has always been to, to, to be able to give back in a way that, okay, education is, should be free, should be for everybody, yep. right? Your knowledge should be available to everybody because that itself benefits everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and uh, I think I also said that in one of my my posts as well is that I think the the most wonderful thing you can do for another human being mm. aside from loving them is teaching them. Is teaching. Right? Them. Yeah. I, so, I would agree. Yeah. Yep. So so that's that I think is so important and it will allow us to not fall into the trap of uh, being lied to mm-hmm. and, and being swayed and being uh, polluted with false information, which then affects all of us and. Our children, our children's children. This is really a vicious cycle. A lack of education is a really bad cycle. Yeah, you would think it would be better today with the um, <coughs> with the spread of information technology. Yeah. Everyone, information, you Google at your fingertips, right? Yes, yes. If you smell bullshit, you can just Google something. Yeah. Like, but no, but it seems to be. Yeah, it's it's one I, of those I'm not going to say it's getting worse, but it almost appears. It seems yeah, it's, to be. It's, it's 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 just like any any technology. Right, so it brings up the whole fake news thing. Yeah, right? I mean, just like just like, like any technology, right? Yeah. You, you it become at some point it can become a double edged sword mm. in a way. So yes, you have unlimited access to information, yep. but now you as an individual hold a higher responsibility of filtering yep. the bad information, which which comes back to how important it is to be able to detect the false information and this this uh, so just because you have an abundance uh, you know everything at, on your fingertip doesn't necessarily mean you're getting the right material mm. so being able to let people know and understand you know the difference between why something is true and how it is that it is true is is really critical a friend of mine uh, wrote a program to solve this uh, rebutter I'll link it in down below mm. Re- rebutter I think he's made it open source now it was like going to be a startup and he made it open source what it is is a plugin for your browser yes and he was hoping that the browser manufacturers would integrate ah, it as yeah, yeah. you know as a permanent thing so it's on everyone's thing what it does is it pops up if somebody if there's an article a news article mm. or whatever mm-hmm. um, and somebody has rebutted that yes. with their own article, it will uh, automatically pop up and say this page has 10, 10 rebuttals. Yes, so if yes. you pop up with homeopathy or something, it'll, yeah. there's, <laughs> it'll, there's, it'll, a it'll there's a billion <laughs> re- rebuttals, right? Yeah. This is just bullshit. Yeah. Or if it popped up with solar roadways, they go, hey, here's links to exactly. engineers who have looked at this and gone. Yeah, this is, just, this is nonsense. You know, yeah. don't don't put your faith in this. It's yeah, I, and I, I'm hoping that. Yeah, as, there, there's got to be a mechanism like that to solve yeah. it. I think that's there's got to be a solution. Eventually, has to be because otherwise, if people were smart enough to do it, they would have already done it. Yeah. So I don't think people are going to get smarter to or more proactive. Yeah. I yeah. think it needs to be technology. Yeah, there needs to be that's a true. Technology I, there, there, solution. There is continuously, if you look, there's a lot of articles and a lot of things that come out discussing specifically that. No matter which side of the political system you are, left or right, uh, if you're constantly bombarded with information that mm. reaffirms your Re- point of view, yep. it's just going to make it worse. Yep. You're going to get pushed more this way, and you're going to push more that way. So it's really important to, in a way, to, to help people understand. And all, yep. the thing is, you don't want to completely block yourself out from every other information that you don't agree yep. with, because that also is not good. But then you need to have the skills to be able to do. So I, I think I mentioned this to you before. Uh, at Bell Labs, the, a long time ago, there used to be this Bell Labs uh, Shannon uh, lecture series. Oh. That was a long time ago, and they actually restarted now. Nice. And uh, so now we've had three, and uh, the first one was uh, about the kind of uh, artificial sensing with hu- mm-hmm. merging materials with the human body, and it was very very interesting. The second one which I thought why I personally enjoyed uh, very much was the, the head of the artificial intelligence at Facebook was there. And he was talking about AI and neural networks and how they handle information because Facebook receives so much data each yeah. day. So, I mean, and it, almost an inconceivable amount of data. Not, not just text, but photos. Oh, photos and videos. And, and yeah. what they need to do is that every video needs, to, every, every photo needs to be processed before mm. it shows up. So when you put it, it's actually, even though it's real time, it's actually not, right? It gets processed yep. at some supercomputer somewhere, and then it comes back and gets posted so that it doesn't have some content that you don't right. like so, to have, you know, yeah, pornography yeah. and so on, it has to be removed. So, but this is not done in a traditional way, it's mm. done with uh, neural networks. and Learning it, systems. Yeah, it's a learning system, it yep. figures out how, okay, based on other things, it continuously grows, right? It con- grows to be smarter and smarter, uh, but it's obviously not nowhere near the the, the human brain. In fact, in fact, yep. uh, somebody asked this question, 
and the, the thing that makes the human brain extraordinary is is how much it does, but how much power it consumes. Right. Yes. Is, is the yes. is the computational fifty power. watts, hundred yeah, watts, yeah, or something. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. And how much it does with yeah, that? Yeah. It's just such a massive system, such a yeah. parallel system. And anyway, so he's talking about uh, how so neural networks is not like a, so it, take a GPU for example, like an NVIDIA GPU, which by the way is used at the heart of a lot of neural networks because of its computational capability. A GPU that, let's say you're watching a movie or you're playing a game, it doesn't need to be 100% error free. In fact, it's not. Your GPU makes mistakes all the time. It's just that it doesn't matter. You don't care if a pixel isn't rendered no, right. It doesn't out matter. Yeah, you won't even yeah. notice it, right? Yep. So in fact, some of the higher grade NVIDIA mm. processors that you can buy for, let's say, 10 times the cost of a regular one, the only difference is that it's been tested so that it doesn't produce errors. Right. Right? So it's been like kind of hand-picked in a way. Sometimes, not, not always, but some, some of them are like that. Interesting. And, uh, so, uh, <coughs> what but, would cause those discrepancies, by I mean, the way? It's That's just, just a yeah. tangent technical question. Yeah, it's just mistakes in the, in the, mistakes in the uh, timing or some bit getting flipped somewhere or some error that exists in it, some... It, is that yeah. because of the... But it's not because of the inherent design architecture. Otherwise, each no. chip would op operate identically. You're, are you talking yeah. about quantum? No, 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 I'm not. No, no, not, not at that level. Well, no, but it, so, how would it? So it, the thing is about it. If you look at the architecture of the hmm. GPU itself, it's a massive computational platform, yep. and sometimes it, it's pushed a little bit beyond how fast it can go. Let's just as an example, ah, right? Okay. So if you push it a little bit faster, it's so it's not an overclocking. Yeah, it sometimes exam. makes mistakes okay, here and right. there, and some bits may get flipped here and right. there, and these errors happen all the time in any computational network, yep. right? It's just that sometimes that sometimes it's unacceptable, and sometimes there is error correction behind it, right? Mm -hmm. So a wireless system can ha can have bit error rates in the order of one to the minus three. Right. Yeah. So out of every 1,000 yeah. bits is one it's wrong, one. right? Which is very, very bad, right? Yeah. But there's so much error correction behind the system such that the overall system is error free or it goes below 1 to the minus 12. So for GPUs, uh, for example, they may not do error correction because they don't care about some bits being flipped here and there. Yeah. And the point I was making originally was that in neural networks, because it's a heuristic system, actually errors that aren't catastrophic necessarily, mm -hmm. right? Because in the, network, the system is constantly learning and constantly correcting as it goes forward. And uh, so it, does, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, your brain makes mistakes yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time, yeah. right? But it doesn't necessarily matter. Because your, your eye is not perfect. You no. think you're seeing a perfect yeah, image, but you're, you're not. not. Yeah. Your brain's in yeah. filling in That's the blanks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. In, in yeah. fact, there's just so yeah. many things that go wrong, but it's because it's so massively mm. parallel and so much stuff happening all the time, it get, kind of averages out. Yeah. And it turns out, uh, as this, uh, as the head of the AI uh, uh, person at Facebook was talking about, AI lab, is that, yeah, this, this, so you can take advantage of that. You can take advantage of the, the algorithms that go into neural networks, the fact that they don't have to be perfect, to constantly reduce the power consumption of the system, because you don't need to be so computationally, right. aggressively trying to fix everything. It may not matter, right? So he was saying also that, uh, in your GPU, for example, you do 16 point, 32 point, floating point accuracy. Yep. He's, he was saying that you can you get away with four or five. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't matter, right? <laughs> because he, I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference, right? So it's, it floors out yep. it, it, it very quickly. So he was saying a next generation of uh, DSPs, so called, for mm -hmm. neural networks, don't need to be 16 point floats. So you can get rid of all of that bring the power down, make the system more efficient. So and this is only something we've learned in recent times. Yeah, is because it? there's, a, yeah, this is right. very, very, very right. recent stuff uh, because experiments at that level are just simply not that common. Uh, there are. So they're just basically figuring this stuff out. So I realize they went down, not quite went down the right track. Oh, we're pushing towards more precision, more precision. And then they find out, oh, we don't actually need yeah, it. Yeah, you need a lot only of practical some, purpose. Yeah. Some scientific yeah. applications, of yeah, course, oh, you sure. need rigorous. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't but, know, for an operating yeah, yeah. system is a little bit different, for example, right. when you have a depth of a memory, you're putting a lot of data in yeah, and out. Yeah, yeah. But for neural, neural networks, for example, we can get away with it. So it is really cool. To, mm. Yeah, it, I was uh, really, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering some aspects <laughs> of it because it's, AI is not my expertise, but uh, you can actually go and watch mm. that episode. Great. Right? It's uh, on Bell Labs' uh, Shannon Luminary series. Cheers. If you go Try on YouTube. They're on, yep. they're on YouTube, it's easy to find. So go and watch and listen to this uh, this gentleman talk about it. He's, he's uh, obviously an expert. Yeah. So how do we combat? Are there other ways to combat um, people's um, tendencies? Uh, for yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with ignorance, but mm. like uh, willful ignorance when you're presented yes. with the facts and you, know, and you just refuse to believe them because it doesn't fit your... 
yeah. paradigm. Um, I should. I don't like because science is not based on authority. Right. Right. Science should not be based on yeah, authority. It should not be. Yes. But, but you know, should there be a but in that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, should he, there? We tend to want like, things to be really black and white. Yeah. Because we like that. There is. Mm. I, I. This is again my opinion that why people like black and white is because it's easier to make sense of things that are black yeah. and white. You say, okay, I, I, I get it, it's this way, or I get it this way. But yeah. it's really, most things in life are in between, right? So, honestly, that you have to try and, as, as, as a human being, you have to try and separate your emotional attachment to a concept from the reality yep. of the situation, right? Like, I think that if, let's say, if, if a person has a terrible disease and, it, and they go to the doctor and the doctor says, you're cured, Right, yeah. uh, you will feel wonderful, right? Yeah, but, right, yeah. But it's it's just not true. It's not true. Right? So so that yeah. I I think the truth matters, right? Ultimately matters because for that for that particular person, eventually the truth will catch up to them, and that this applies to everything in life in, in one way or another. And I'm hoping that mm. with more and more people recognizing the importance of investigating something yeah. that they're being told question everything, including us. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, uh, so that that yeah. will then. I always say like, that don't. Believe me. Yeah, don't take you know, my don't word believe for it. Yeah. Go and yeah. run the numbers yourself. Yes. Prove it yourself. I'm yeah. always yeah. And, and, and if a politician it's... comes and, and says, don't believe And when was yeah. the last time a politician <laughs> came and said, hey, don't believe me, go check it yourself. <laughs> it just doesn't happen, right? So Should politics in particular, um, should it be mandated that they only listen to authorities in in the particular fields? Like... Yeah. like written into the legislature, like, so you can't listen to the nutcases. Even all the communities rising yeah. up and saying, yeah. you know, I, you know, I support this pseudoscience or whatever. Yeah. Uh, technically, they have to listen to the people, yes, right? Because yes. that's what they're... Yeah, I mean, that's, they're elected, that, that, that's elect, what yeah. they're elected officials. But obviously, some things are demonstrably untrue yeah. that, you know, it's like... Yeah, science I mean, has got to step in and override yeah. that and go, no, you can't... Yeah, people people on uh, on a lot of level they deal they they f- react to their feelings mm-hmm. a lot more than they, they do. And, oh, and, I, and I have spoken with people yeah. that have said that we're just not as safe anymore. And, and I was saying, you know, that you are the safest you've ever been yeah. in the history of, of the country that you live in. It's yeah. Like, yeah, but it doesn't feel safe, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's, 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 a, it's not the same. It's it, emotional. How do you yeah, yeah? How do you how do you flip that? And yeah. you you know you can't fault the person for feeling a certain way. Of course. But you can fault them for not being able to say, okay, I feel this way, but the facts don't support my feeling, mm-hmm. and therefore my actions should be based on the facts and not on my feelings. Right. That. That difference is is what I think makes makes it such a big difference in in the political world, and politicians they and they want to be elected, they want to be in charge, they want to be in power, and and, and it's funny because it doesn't matter. I mean, we don't mm. even have to talk about who is in charge yep. politically, right? All we need to care about is what do you ultimately want, right? You ultimately want certain things from your government. You want the government to protect you. <laughs> yep. You want the government to provide you with free so, health care, with free education. Yep. You want your government to not Or at least be, quality. Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, no, I'm happy to pay for stuff. As a taxpayer, yeah, I'm happy to pay yeah, for right. stuff. Right, and uh, you also <laughs> don't want the government or, or institutions that work with the mm-hmm. government to have a vested interest yes. when things go wrong, right? Yep. So nobody should get rich if more people go to prison. Right? Because no, it's, no, it's, that, it's, that's, it's, that's, it's that's an inherent that's, conflict yeah. there, right? Yeah. This is why, for example, I shouldn't be allowed to t- go and take out life insurance under oh, David's no. name. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now I have a vested interest for them to die. <laughs> right? So you don't want that, right? And this yeah, is yeah. the same thing in the political system. You don't want people to get rich yeah. when people get sick. You don't want people to get rich when people go to prison. Now, I understand that there, is, there has to be a reward based on some things. So, for mm-hmm. example, uh, Experiments in medicine are very expensive, so there has to be some reward for right. new medication to be created. Of course, created. so they've got to have a yeah, there has to be dominance or something. Yeah. There's yeah. got I to mean, be simply human beings. Or are, we, be, yeah, we just yeah. simply haven't evolved to a point where we don't need that. Yes, right? we want. So, We're not so so living that. in some Star Trek utopia right. where exactly so, nobody's there's no money doesn't exist anymore right. and everything. So I right. recognize all of that, but yeah. I think there should be a balance. And all once right. the and, and I think uh, I. I've said this to many people before, this, mm. this exponential rise in, in separation of classes in terms of uh, mm-hmm. how much money you have. Yes. Your it, it's just this it's the wealth inequality is extraordinary, right? Yeah. And 
I, I don't want to set myself up as a moral exemplar, and mm. I am not by any. I want. I don't want. But I can tell you right now, there are some things I will never be able to do. Like I would never be able to wear a hundred thousand dollar watch. Mm-hmm. Right? I just can't. It, it's just I. I would never be able to justify that on a human level. Yep where I would wear a watch that's 100000 which is completely unnecessary, where I know there are people mm-hmm. who, who, or I could never live in a $50 million house or right. drive a $1 million car. Even if I had the money, I just can't do that. Yep, and same. I, 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 and I just, it doesn't take much to reason out why that would be unjustified, right? And mm-hmm. I hope that, and this, the, the education is, the, I think, one of the biggest things to combat things like this. Uh, it allows you to create education. Also teaches you empathy in a lot it does. of ways, right? I think that's these are some of the important things that I that I'm well, hoping to pass on. That's, yeah, that's, that's the, the hope. That's the dream to be able what, to pass on. Why don't politicians listen to scientists? You would think of, that's a slam dunk. You would think yeah. the scientists say that. Like you would think like why would you even question? Like I, I can like, yeah I question everything, right? Like yes. that's that's just like you should, right? But. But like, yeah, I, I think I think an individual. I, I wonder. I always also wonder how often our politicians actually believe the things they say they believe. Oh, they they don't. I, I, no, they're, I they're assume, saying it for some agenda. Yeah. They're politi- yeah. by definition. Yes. They're saying it yeah. for some other agenda. Right. Right. So, like, so I in, in, so yeah, for yeah. me, I think in terms instead of holding the politicians responsible, mm-hmm. I would rather hold the the voters responsible. Yes. I, I, I find I feel like it's the. the the, the voters, when you want to put someone in charge to control your life, mm. I mean, this is this is also something that I just don't understand. If if any pick any random person and say that tomorrow you're gonna have to get brain surgery, right? Mm. You're gonna have a million questions from the doctor who's going yeah. to the brain. You're gonna you're gonna pick that man up or a woman apart, right? Yep. Because they're gonna do this to you. But you're gonna pick somebody who's going to control. Everything, right, exactly. in your life. Uh, you don't you want to do the same thing? Yep. Right? Shouldn't you be even more meticulous? I mean, I understand that as as again as human beings, somebody coming and cutting mm-hmm. us as an individual open and trying to operate on us, it just hits much closer. So you mm-hmm. react to it differently. But we should adjust our mentality a little bit and make sure that the people who are in charge, again, doesn't matter who it is. I, but we haven't named a single yep. name or so far about any politician. We don't care about that. That's not the point. Yep. But then you just have to be very meticulous. You have to ask yourself, why <coughs> is this policy being pushed? Why is that policy being pushed? Why are we silencing this? Mm. Why are we advancing that? And if you ask these questions, and hopefully you find a better answer to them, the problem is people are busy. Yeah, people have lives. A lot of people. But they piss away their time on so many trivial. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but things. People, people yeah, have rather a... than looking to see if something's true, doing yeah. a simple Google search I know, to I know. see it's, if something's. But you know, it, it's tough. I, I can, <sighs> I can sympathize. Uh, you know, a, a, let's say a single mother working two jobs, or yeah, a family yeah, barely, barely making it. Yeah, it's tough, right? It's easy to sit down and say, mm-hmm. go and figure it out. It, it's really difficult. I yep. completely get that, and but the on average, more people who are aware, it gets better. Right, it constantly gets yep. better, and and we and again, life has never been as good as it is now. Right, We're, we are. I am. We could be getting better each day, mm-hmm. but I want to change the slope. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even faster. Change the, right? change the gradient. So, it, there's no reason yep. why it has to, because every generation, every day that is not going as fast as it could, is somebody's losing it. Is our our as in video blogger influ- right. influential mm-hmm. bloggers time better spent? more in general education mm-hmm. rather than specific. Like I could spend a day doing some obscure electronics tutorial, right? Yeah. A day or two doing that. Am I better off putting a couple of days not yeah. doing any of those and putting them something that effort into a generic debunking yeah. video, for example? Although how many of them can you do? Yeah, um, that's a difficult question. Uh, but I'm a, th- a lot of people ask, why do I do a debunking video when somebody else has already debunked it. Yeah. It's because, well, A, I have an audience they may not and yeah, vice yeah, versa. Exactly. Um, but also, I may say something in a different way yeah. that appeals to someone in different ways like education, right? You don't, there is no one magic textbook. No, 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 exactly. That, that you get that explains it, that is gonna be a, yeah. a good explanation for you. That's why people ask all the time, which textbook should I get? all of them yeah. read them all and figure out whichever one ones you won't understand at all they're presenting the same information yeah but 
in a different way. Yeah. So and, yeah, and the then style it'll just is snap really important. inside you. Style's important. The way, just little subtle things people might say, yeah. and that's. I think there's value in everyone should debunk. Yeah. Like it shouldn't just be one person's done it. Oh, it's done. Yeah. You no, know, I mean for a, sure. I'm, I'm sure a lot of your viewers will yeah. also agree. I mean, when you go and watch one of Dave's videos, you're watching. <coughs> Dave do that not Dave, watch someone else you're watching do. my opinion of yeah, my, your, my, my your, technique your style my, your, 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 everything's your different. tone your language your choice yeah. of words all those things matter mm. and I, I think that's, this is definitely I, there's always value to it but you also want to do something you enjoy doing. No, yeah, yeah. So no, it's, you know, it's, a, it's you know, I, the, well, I, I don't do anything. I don't enjoy doing. Right, right. I mean, we're not, yeah. we're not martyrs. No, no. <laughs> so we, we also have to make sure that we like what we do. Otherwise, it, yeah. it's, it's just difficult to do. Especially, I mean, now, luckily for everybody on YouTube, for the big community, this is mm. your full-time job. So yep. you can give it devotion and attention and so on. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different. Uh, that's mm. why I also have, again, far, far less content uh, simply because I just don't have the time. Mm. Uh, but uh, in my, my small way, I hope to, to excite and, and have the interest, get people interested in the kind of yeah. things that I'm talking about. And I have to say, uh, sometimes I go through the comment sections and, and videos, and, and you know how bad the comment section on YouTube is, right? I mean, it it's one of the most toxic yeah. places you could be on. And it's just the, the comments are so wonderful. I, I, you just go and look yeah. at look at look at all these people saying all these nice things. It's extraordinary, mm. right? People are scattered all around the world who've never met me, who, who would most likely yeah. never be able to meet me, saying something that oh, you inspired me, you you did this yeah. for me. That, that's, that's, that's why I do it. That's the reason yeah. I do it. That's it why I put yeah. up with all the hate and everything else. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's really, you're it's, you're kind of lucky in that your content's more narrow niche. Yeah. focused and that you won't appeal to the general population yeah. so you don't get the bell curve outliers yeah. I, also, you know. I also don't say as many controversial, <laughs> <And> controversial <laughs> things you tend to yeah. speak which is great by yeah. the way which is, which is great what comments did you get on your science video because that's really the only one You've done yeah. outside of yes, your regular yeah. content. It, it's was the it, one, were they different? Yeah, well, it's the one that has the, the largest thumb down. Oh, really? Of the, all my videos. Really? Yeah. It's, what percentage? Yeah. I mean, would... it's, it's very small still. Like oh, maybe, right. Okay. Know, yeah, right. it's like maybe a couple percent. Five percent. Yeah, okay, percent. right. But normally, <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been lucky. Yeah. So I maybe... Thumbs down yeah. ratio is only like maybe less than a percent. Right? Well, so, that, that didn't... That, did, that wasn't because... They don't agree with you. It's because that's not the content they wanted to see. Yeah, I mean, it's a for, they, they certainly a, for yeah, a different certainly reason. a combination. I'm but, sure they would have. But some yeah. people also wrote that you know oh. uh, you're you're close-minded. You don't know oh, this. And you don't no. know science. No. And, and it's, it's, what? It's, it has nothing to do with being close-minded. <laughs> and, and I brought this up before. It's like, how do you know this? Uh, and how do you know it's not wrong? How do you know? And, uh, and wrong, science has been wrong in the past and so on. <coughs> but it, science is, yes, science is a constantly correcting mechanism. It is. If, if it didn't get anything wrong, it wouldn't be science. <laughs> it wouldn't be science, but, but It has exactly. to make mistakes. It has but, to. But the thing is that some things, once they get established, the, the probability of them being wrong Correct. goes down exponentially, right? So what are the chances, I think I mentioned this, what are the chances we wake up tomorrow? Yep. And could they come and say, by the way, guys, Water is not H2O. Yeah, it's exactly. wrong, right? It's, it's not. It's, it's just so small. It's because, ridiculous. Yeah, it's, because then you have a hundred yeah. years of experimentation yeah. that has to now agree with something new yeah. that's not that. And yeah. the chances no. of that is just... Theory of evolution, yeah. for yeah, example. Yeah, evolution like is one of like all that. these like, things, right? So science yeah. only changes yeah, yeah. its outer lip of mm. understanding. Only that little fuzzy part of the science yeah. continues. Yeah. It doesn't go back and fundamentally just tear everything apart, right? Anthrop pagenic global warming, right? right? For a human yeah, another, yeah, they, they, they actually put a number on that. If you go yeah. read the IPCC report, yeah. it's like, it says most likely, uh, to, Judy, uh, yes, and most yes. likely actually has a p number behind yes, it. Yes. It's like 95%. Yes, yes. It's yeah. like, yeah, there's a yeah. 5% chance it could be something else. But it, yeah. the, as the more data comes in, yeah, it's we're pretty certain, you know. So why wouldn't why don't people run with that? It's, yeah, but you know, it, it also has to, It's also interesting to see. It, even the, it doesn't matter whether you agree with it or you don't agree with it. You just have to still be aware of the science, mm. right? Yeah. So I remember a long time ago we were at a cabin, and uh, we had uh, some wood that was cut from some trees that had fallen in the backyard, and we were burning the wood. And there was a person who was a very hardcore environmentalist. And he's like, oh, yeah. no, we shouldn't burn this wood because we are going it to release this carbon. It. But I was saying, yeah. but this wood is already going to do that on its own. The difference between burning fossil fuel yep. and a tree that just fell is that fossil fuel is 
carbon from millions of years and ago. And it would not, and it would yeah. stay that it, way. It was there, it's, yeah. it was underground, right? Exactly. You're, you're taking, it's like a time machine, <coughs> right? You're, you're taking carbon from mm-hmm. millions of years ago, putting it back in the air. Yeah. It's not the same as burning wood from a tree that, that just fell. That would have fell. organically it released was, it anyway. just done it anyway. So yeah. even a person who agrees with it yeah. doesn't, may not quite understand yeah. the difference, right? So it's really interest, interesting and important mm. to educate yourself. Is this exactly what is it so that you can defend it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that if somebody comes along and says, "Oh, you know, I, let's say I, for some reason, I was an anti-environmental," yep. I could have said, "Yeah, but you know, you're saying it's wrong, right?" <laughs> and it was wrong, but it doesn't mean the rest of it is wrong. So everything has some subtleties in there. So Chris and I have talked about this on the Air Power, I'm sure, about ways to, you know, anti-pseudoscience and everything. Yeah. How how to defeat it and how to defeat idiots who try and defend it. You know, and it's like. Um, I'm, I'm with you, you know, yes, try and educate them, but yeah, some yeah. people just refuse to be educated, right? Yeah. So I, I think a lot of people don't agree with this, but I think ridicule is once it's like, if something's demonstrable, like, you yeah. know, if you're a flat earther or man didn't <laughs> land on the moon, yeah. you just have to, like, you should not try, you just have to laugh at them. Like, you yeah. have to... Yeah, I think ridicule them. I yeah. mean, uh, Christopher that... said it's not even wrong. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. ridicule is that people don't like being embarrassed. Yeah. So ridicule can actually be a powerful force. A lot of people criticise me for ridiculing, mm-hmm. you know, idiots who believe in something. You know, and but I think that's a powerful force, ridicule. Yeah. So yeah, but I, that's I remember, a, probably a controversial approach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it honestly depends on the person a lot yeah, of yeah, times. Totally. And I think one, something once happened that I learned a lot from. And I was talking with somebody and we were discussing evolution. Yep. And the person said, oh, evolution is just a theory, right? <laughs> so I said, I tried to explain, uh, you know, the difference between theory in ordinary language and yeah. theory in a scientific yeah, context. As, as you do, that's how I always, I, yeah. I don't laugh at them. I right. do try and educate to, them To show first. the difference. But, yeah. but I, 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 was, I, yeah. I was having a bad, I said, I said, okay, forget all that. I asked them a very basic question. I said, right. uh, evolution, you're saying it didn't happen, right? It's right. false, granted. But, there's something that you and I can agree. We can agree that, first of all, this theory mm-hmm. has been around for 200 years, mm-hmm. right? And that there is many research on it, there's many books written on it, there's tons of information on it, mm-hmm. and you don't think it's true, fair enough. Can you tell me what it is? Yeah. Right? So what it is that you're denying? Yep. Right? So this is something that many men and women have spent their lives yes. studying, right? So if you're gonna say it doesn't exist, you, you have to at least be able to tell me what it is. Exactly. Right? And, and yep. so they started explaining, and of course the explanation wasn't what actually no. evolution is. Yep. So I said, there, right there, right? That's, that's the problem, yep. right? I'm fine, you can tell me it's false. I, this is what it says, this is why I think it's false. Yep. That's, that's fine, it's already many steps ahead. And, and I think I, that, that caught that person a little off guard, mm. and they, they kind of clicked a little bit in their head that, oh, and, and then he, he was saying that, okay, I'm gonna go find out, come and tell you why. <laughs> that, that's, that's no, already I'm not going to say a rare person, yeah. but that's yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't always doesn't. happen. It doesn't yeah. always happen. But I, I, I thought that that was very effective. Uh, right. Instead of trying to tell them what it is, yep. ask them. You tell me what it is that you're saying. It, yep. It's not true. And I think that's I encourage good. people to go look. Go look at. Here's a fact. Go look at. Uh, yeah, go yeah, verify. Go look at it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And also, if you don't yeah, think yeah. it's true, ask yourself why, why do I not think it's true? true. What, yeah. what is my core yeah. reason for it? And is my reason for sound sound and based on logic yeah. and so on? These are basic things I think that we can we can all do. Do you think we're eventually going to outgrow all this sort of stuff? We're going to live in a society where you yeah. know all the bullshit's gone. Like maybe not all of it, yeah. but like. Like you're a fringe out, like you're a flat earther if you don't yeah. believe in yeah, climate yeah. change or, or something like. I mean, can I, you see it get in there, or is it, or is humanity not savable in that respect? I mean, honestly, if you look at how, as a species, we're yeah. behaving, a hundred years ago, mm-hmm. I'd say there's hope. Right? There, there's hope because if you, it, yeah, you're right. If you compare it with that, yeah, yeah. but then again, we went through a, the late. <clears throat> um, the late 1800s. Yes, I mean, it's like a, uh, we it's like a zigzag. A, it's yeah. almost like that because we went through a very a period where it was very bad. a lot of religion yeah. didn't dominate and everything else, and now it's come back, and a lot of yeah. other stuffs come back, and a lot of pseudoscience is coming back. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, 60s and 70s after you know during the Apollo and all yeah, that. Yeah, all the other so things that happened. Where, where was the happened. pseudoscience yeah. around there? Oh, maybe there was all the um, there was it all the astrology stuff, but it's always yeah. there. But it wasn't. Like it is now, it's almost trendy to be yeah, the anti. Thi- yeah, the thing is, some things 
cannot be uninvented. Right. right? So, so the price yeah. of ignorance is not the same at mm. every stage of humanity. Right. Right. So the price of ignorance when you have a nuclear bomb button under yes. your hand is yes, not the right. same as the price of ignorance when you're ro- yep. going around the horses, right? Correct. So that's that, of course, is part of the equation. Yeah. But we as, as a species, we are obviously on a Gaussian distribution in almost every aspect mm-hmm. of our day-to-day life. And this, this Gaussian distribution is really wide. And we're yep. always going to have that Gaussian distribution. It's just we want to move the mean Constantly yeah, 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 up, up, upwards. So, so that, it's yeah, always yeah. going to be, and uh, and I think our best weapons, in a way, mm-hmm. is. I mean, I think. Uh, by the way, just uh, just a side thing. If you haven't listened to Sam Harris's "Waking Up," oh, podcast, Sam, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Highly recommended. To. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Yep. The people who comment them are. Extra. I can see the flame truly, comments now, truly, but truly ex- no, but. You don't have to agree with everything. No, no, you don't have right? to agree. Yeah. I That's mean, Sam right. Harris doesn't yeah. agree with the, <coughs> some a lot of the things that people come and talk to him about. I mean, it's not about agreeing. Mm. It's about a discussion, a yes. conversation. Right? Yes, it's very and good. you can learn from that, that conversation. There's mm-hmm. some things that they say that I don't necessarily agree with, yep. um, but doesn't matter. I learn something from that discussion every time. Definitely go and check it out. Totally uh, recommended. Yeah, highly yep. recommended. Anyway, Absolutely. so... Um, so you see hope. Yes, I, I do see, <laughs> you hope. see hope. I do see. I, I I always see hope, even though it does. It looks a little bit scary now, but but I, I do see hope. And, it's okay. It's only four years. Don't yeah. Me. But I, I I'm not I'm not asking for anything extraordinary. Right? Right, I'm, right, I'm right. saying let's let's make sure that yep. we're reasonable. Let's make sure yeah. that that we think of people who are not as lucky as we are. I mean, mm-hmm. if I look at my own life, right? Mm-hmm. I have, I am I'm extraordinarily lucky. Right. In, in yeah. every way that I can think about. I come from the Middle East uh, 20 years ago, right? A very re- repressive yeah, country very now. repressive it's country. Like very, I, I yeah, mean, yeah. Just, just, just take my yeah. YouTube channel, right? It would have been impossible from Iran, which is yeah. where I came. It's just impossible, yeah. right? Just the resources, the, the, the access, not possible, mm-hmm. right? So just that, and that—that that is, I'm, I'm hoping that that is viewed as my giving away back to the community, right? So mm-hmm. if I, I, if I, if I have been so privileged and lucky to have got been able to go through the journey, I have to give something back. It just yep. wouldn't be fair, right? So I, I, I consider myself extremely lucky, and uh, I'm, I want to be able to give some of that back to other people. And like I said, I don't want that to get confused with me being on this high horse. Right. I am not a yep. moral exemplar at all. I'm <coughs> plenty of my own mistakes, but I just want to help in my own little, little tiny, That's tiny right. way. But mm. uh, just again, question everything. Make sure, make sure that uh, you ask why is a person saying this? Is it in their benefit in some way? Is it in everyone else's benefit? And and think about everybody else. Think yep. about uh, the people who are just don't have what you, what you have and uh, yeah my bigger i think my biggest the thing that makes me happiest the most about my channel mm. and the things i've done is that i've hopefully influenced others like yourself and others to also start similar yeah, yeah you have content certainly. absolutely and, uh, yeah it's yeah. that's the thing and you I'm can probably see, can see in the, the comments most, most yeah, proud yeah. of that's and the you thing can see it in the comments yeah. too I if remember. i've done that if i fail tomorrow i've got success yes. look yeah. i help create Yes. You know, or helped at least influence or encourage, yeah. you know, 50 other channels to start yeah, up yeah. and they'll encourage others and yes, boom, 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 boom. That's, that's the know? reach, you know, that's, that's the yeah, yeah. amazing reach that wasn't yep. there five or ten years no, ago. No, no, it's yeah, crazy. And, and you have them, you can see in the comment section a yep. lot of times, so you inspire me to do this or do that. Yep. And then these are, these will stay with you basically mm-hmm. forever. It's, it's, it's yeah. your, I mean, you have children, I don't, but this yep. is immortality, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 well, that's, that's right. That's, you want yep. immortality, this is immortality. Yep. So yep. that's how you live forever is in the, in the consciousness of others. And that's Correct. That's the only way. That's the only, for it. Yeah. <coughs> that's the only way you can yeah. go. Yeah. I think uh, I, I, Neil Tyson once yep. said that, I, I thought it was cool, and he was talking about uh, if your consciousness is the arrangement of the synopsis activity in your brain. So it's some mm-hmm. energy related to, to the way, yeah. that energy has a mass equivalent. It, it does. So, so, yeah. Yeah, so there is a it mass equivalent to your consciousness. You weigh something. I, that's just such a beautiful idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, I just, on, the, on my 15 hour flight, I watched um, Arrival. Arrival, I, I yes. Seen, have you yes. seen that? Yes, I have. I, lo- that's, I enjoyed that's it so very much. interesting. Yeah, I really yep. enjoyed that. Yep. I, this, this, this whole idea of this universal, uh, I don't want to give it away, so maybe you haven't seen yeah. it, but if you haven't seen it, Watch it. Yep. I was, it's worth really well. Yes. Yeah. Fan, just such totally. a poetic, such a beautiful film. Yeah. I really enjoyed it.
I'm just going <coughs> to... And that might lead to something else. Oh, sorry about the coughing. I can't... No, it's okay. I can't help I hope it. you're okay. <laughs> I, no, no, I'm fine. It's just a lingering cough that'll stay for like yeah, yeah. two or three days at yeah, least. Yeah, so we've been, we've been spending the, the whole day together. It's just like, he, wasn't, he wasn't coughing. He just started. <laughs> just like, record, I'm going to start coughing. <coughs> oh. There you go. Mm. And my voice starts to go and it's terrible. My voice is already bad enough. Let alone when I have it. Uh, like, I don't have the flu anymore, it's just the tail, the yeah, after yeah, effect, yeah. you know. The, yeah, exactly, aggravated, yeah. Yep, the after effect. All right, so we're recording. Mm -hmm. Your channel. Yeah. Any plans for the future? Do you see it getting bigger? Is your subscriber base just going up linearly? Uh, it, I think I haven't checked to see the, the I, I haven't taken a derivative of the, <laughs> yeah, right, of the, of yeah, the yeah. engagement, but... Uh, so, I mean, it's sitting at like 40,000 or 40 something yep. thousand subscribers right now. It's, like I said, it's tiny mm -hmm. compared to some of the other channels, but um, it's just, it's, it take, it's very time consuming to make, yep. make an episode, right? I think we had that discussion a little <laughs> bit. Uh, like, a, so you may not realize, but the, the episode that takes the least amount of time for me to make is the repair. The repair is the shortest by far. Uh, the reviews are take forever. They, they take forever. Yeah, uh, because they I have are, to, yeah, yeah. As, as you Arduous. know. Yeah. Because I have to, you know, devise an experiment. I have to make it, create one from scratch that mm -hmm. suits the instrument, and mm -hmm. then kind of you have to be completely familiar with the instrument, and then do the yep. experiment. I have to build it all once, test it, make sure it all works, and then disassemble it. And <laughs> like, anyway, it's just an. It takes it's a long time. A so long time. yeah, so I spend a long time in, in my lab doing just, that. So do you still have enthusiasm to do those sorts of yeah. really involved ones? Yeah. So I, do, you know, it's funny because so. Maybe about a, let's say a year or two ago, when yep. I would get an equipment instrument, it's like okay, I'm gonna do it. But now I have a backlog. You got a backlog. And, and I've got a backlog. As soon as it's a backlog, it seems hopeless. Now a chore, right? It's, it becomes a chore. Yeah, it seems joy hopeless. It goes out of the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you know, yeah, like yeah. you know, everybody's knocking at the road and short saying, okay, where's my review? And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where's my review? It's like, yeah, I just, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm doing the best I can. But yeah, uh, yeah so I, I have. Uh, I'm gonna continue to try and obviously yep. do, do do more and more. But and uh, I. Very recently, I think it was maybe a couple of months ago, I started doing a little bit of the Patreon, yeah. and uh, just so that I can buy more broken equipment mm -hmm. uh, because these things are. You know, I've noticed. I have a feeling that my repair videos have raised the cost of broken equipment. <laughs> it, it happens. People complain uh, yeah. about my yeah, my and, stuff and all the time. If because, I do an eBay right, thing, right. boom, the price skyrockets. Yeah, because uh, like yeah. for example, I used to. I, I did every time I do repair on something, especially yep. like uh, RF equipment. Yeah. I go back to buy another one. It's like it's gone up by like a thousand dollars. Like, jeez, <laughs> you know, I, I'm I'm shooting myself yeah. in the foot here. So. Yeah. Anyway, so things become more expensive uh, as as a result. So then it's harder for me to buy it and oh. do another repair video. So, but I have a little bit of Patreon support uh, now. And, and, and again, I've mm. said this before, but I really appreciate the support from the from the people. And I just buy the equipment and so I can repair it. Uh, yeah, and the reviews take forever. I'm gonna continue to do it as as my time allows, yep. uh, and we'll see where it goes. Would you do it full time if it got to a point where? It was bringing in enough money to do it. Um, Would you actually quit your nine to five? And I don't think so. You don't uh, think so? I, in my Patreon goals, <coughs> I've put it as a joke that if if, if, it, oh, you if it gets okay, to ten thousand dollars an episode, I will uh, quit my job and do uh, everything in a penguin suit. <laughs> All right. But obviously, it's a joke. But <laughs> yeah. the thing is, you know, I do research, right? I right. do actual uh, actual. And you think uh, that's more important? Yeah. Than to me, to me, on, on a personal level, uh, I would. Yeah, I don't think it would. I mean, some unre unreasonable numbers, yeah. sure, but obviously that's unrealistic. But I don't think I would ever quit the research. I mean, that's why I work at Bell Labs, yeah. because of the research, yeah. To me, it's, yeah, I mean, I don't do much engineering anymore. You know, right. I used to be a real engineer, you know, now I pretend to be one on, <laughs> on the EEV blog. And it's like, yeah, I, a lot of people ask, do I miss it? And yeah, yeah you know, I miss doing it, but also don't miss the grind either. Yeah. You know, I like knowing the fact that I get, because sometimes I've worked for two years on a product yeah. and it just gets shit canned. I like, know, I, know. I worked two years of my life yeah, on that. Like, yeah. and, and nothing comes out of the very few of my... Because I never worked on consumer stuff, yeah. so it's not like, you know... Like, you should come to research. Yeah, right, yeah see how much it gets. The know. stuff that's thrown out and, all the time. Yeah. And that can be demoralised, but now yeah. I make a video, 50, 100,000 people might watch it, and yeah. that's, that's a huge yeah, I mean, like difference, a, even yeah, though it's not... Sure. You know, it's about, sure. like I said, contributing to encouraging other people to do the same thing. That's more, yeah. more worthwhile than me, than my sort of, you know, yeah. need or want to, 
you know, do engineering every day. Yeah, I mean, so, I, I totally get it. I mean, you want to be happy at yep. the end of the day, right? I mean, mm. if your happiness changes, as life mm. changes, and you, that's fine. But for me, doing being able to do research and you know work on some state of the art communication system, that, whatever, that's still that's, number one for that's you. That's still really, yeah. really, really. Whereas my valuable. my number one has changed. My number one. Yeah, yeah. Is, oh yeah, for like, sure, yeah, for sure. Working on interesting yeah. stuff, and now yeah. it's like yeah. You know, and I mean, no, some of my hobbies have shifted around over the yep. years too. You know, I used to, uh, and I still do, but I used to love, really like photography. I used to do quite a mm -hmm. bit of it. But now I kind of almost have completely stopped in favor of doing the, the videos. So, yeah, it comes and goes, yep. but it's fine. I, but I'm going to continue making videos as much as I can. Uh, yep. It's just sometimes it's too busy. <coughs> and uh, when we do a tape out, which is when we submit a, an integrated circuit for fabrication. Mm. By the way, it's called tape out, is because in the old days. They, they use tape. tape. I, I, I used to do circuit boards right. with tape. Yeah, exactly. On so fuel, with not, the light not box. anymore. Any, not, you know, not anymore. You know. But uh, so yep. uh, anyway, so that, when we do tape out, sometimes I, I stay in the office for three days. Wow. Yeah, and I kind of sleep for a couple of hours only in the office because because it just takes that wow. much time. So, oh, oh. but yeah, we're, we're very committed. Wow. Very, very committed. Yeah. Even though it's not. You don't really. Do you have a deadline that you got to meet, or is it no? We just need to get no, it done. No, well, we we do have a deadline. Um, often, it's just mm. that the thing is, it's one of those things. If you don't set yourself a deadline and do it, it's you, just going to drag. You, it's on. just going to drag. Engineers are their best when they have a deadline. Yeah, if you a deadline, it's freaky ability of our. It's it's freaky how you can yeah. make it with like minutes to spare. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like. It's yeah, just, I, I'm, I'm it deadline focuses driven. you different. Yeah, yeah. 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 As much as people always say, oh, hi. this is one of the funny things always yeah. ask me, oh, how are you so disciplined? It's like, I am not disciplined. <laughs> Never uh, am I. I am yep. pretty bad at, yep. trust me. And uh, But I do, again, I do my best uh, that yep. I can. And, and now nowadays, you know, I, ever since I became the department head at, at Bell Labs for mm -hmm. my, you know, my small group. department yeah. group there, it's just even harder because I have a lot of other random things that I have to do, and mm -hmm. which may not even have necessarily be engineering related. Anyway, so that 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 takes away from the yeah. joy sometimes. Yeah, but, but not, enough to, no, 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 not, not enough to. Actually, no, no, not enough to give up the whole. That's thing. one of the other things I can. Yeah. I I don't think I would ever be able to be somewhere where I'd never touch anything technical. Okay. That'd be quite boring. Yeah. 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 Interesting. What do you think about online? university and other oh. teaching stuff like you know Khan Academy because I've got the EV Academy yeah, now right? yeah, yeah. which is going to be more content David yeah. now works for me full time he's going to be producing yeah. tutorial content that doesn't pay for itself you know yes, I might, yes. might, might get $50 a video yeah, you know, $50 revenue which is nothing doesn't yeah. pay for it but um, I, I want that content to be out there yeah yeah you I know? mean Honestly, everything, <coughs> including what I do in, in millimeter wave expertise, let's say, mm. you can learn all that material, yep. right? I mean, there's some things that, okay, you have to be, I have to have experience and so on in order to really comprehend mm. it, but you can get the material anywhere right. you want. So it's, it's, the problem is that the, the way the system is built is just learning it online without having a degree from a, yep. from a place. Then it's difficult to, to for other people to say okay you are qualified yes right it's the difference exactly. between how do you but putting a, but a, a good a, a real good online university yep. that had puts the content out especially like for example when you put a video out you are not after the the revenue no right? but no. The, you know, a lot of these fake online universities that oh, are right. set just to yep. just get money out of people with a promise of a job that they're never going right. to have yeah yeah those are the the devil but um, yep. Yeah, but uh, but other than that, yeah, of course, I mean, put them at right. even some of the some of the most famous figures in my industry, um, like Bezad Razavi, who's a professor and who's mm -hmm. got lots and lots of books. is very famous. If you're in this, you would know him for sure. Uh, he has a channel and he you know puts up, has some videos of teaching uh, analog electronics. And this guy is like the the, the god in, 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 for teaching basically in, yeah. in this field and as well as for research. He has a publication almost every year in top top uh, conferences in the world. So. Uh, to get a chance of him explaining something to you is extraordinary, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, but it's not the same as being in his classroom because right. it's just because the lectures are you know from a university that gives you the degree Different. at the end. Yep, but that's really the, the the thing. But put it out. I'm I'm very eager to see how people would actually yep. receive that. I'm pretty sure people are really going to like it because I've heard a lot of them ask <coughs> for tutorial, tutorials from you. So, yep. Well, we'll see. But they yeah. definitely won't get as much views. You can't no, make no. a full time video. Yeah. You can't take make a full. Yeah, channel. because because as soon as you watch a tutorial yep. video, it's really you want to absorb and learn it, mm -hmm. and that's tough, right? Yep. It's difficult for everybody. Everybody exactly. is the same. But you know, you watch a, a teardown. It's uh, 
is more entertainment. It, it's, right? entertainment. it's not the same. It's entertainment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And there, I, I think I know why yeah. people like repair videos because it's like a, a puzzle, right? It's a, it's you're a mystery. Solving, yeah, you're it's a mystery. It. And, they're, and they're trying to do it along yeah, the line. Exactly. Yeah. And, you're and they'll, and they'll comment you. halfway through that they haven't even watched it yeah, all yeah. yet. And, and they'll comment, it's this, it's yeah. this. They're debugging it already. Yeah, yeah. And your brain, it's funny about the thing about our brain is that your brain rewards you when some even someone else if someone else solves a problem yes your brain rewards yes. you for having watched it, does, it right? because it, it that's, does. that's how knowledge you get a little spreads. dopamine here yeah, you yeah, get yeah. exactly that's yeah, what yeah. it is like you sit down you're watching yep. it so that's why better. those uh science videos like you know like if they did you know teach you a little thing that you didn't know one's called you know what did i learn today or yeah, whatever yeah. they're called you know they give you that little dopamine hit yes, of, yes. you know, if I learned yeah. something, you yeah, know. Exactly. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, yeah. They're, they're very popular. Yeah, addiction to gambling is related <coughs> to that too. It's all, ah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yes. re re related to yeah. your brain rewarding you for mm. a perceived pattern detection that's not yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. And it's you see other people win and yeah. then you... It's yeah. false yeah. pattern yeah. recognition. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. But yeah. anyway, I'm going to continue making videos. Awesome. Uh, but it's now your turn to come to... The U.S. The and U.S. Come, yeah. and yep. Yeah, to come yep. to to the New Jersey side where I'm, we can go to Bell Labs, can walk around Bell Labs, and show you some That'd what's going awesome. on in there, and come to my little tiny lab <laughs> in my basement <laughs> and see my cat. Um, your cat? Oh, I hate cats. Sorry. <laughs> no, I am not. But you not haven't met cat my person. cat. Oh, yeah. your one's yeah. different, He's right? Very, very, of course. It's extraordinarily course. friendly. Of yeah. course, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You don't have a you don't, you don't have a dog. Do you have a dog? I don't, no, I don't know. No, I'm okay. not allowed to have a dog. Okay. But I probably would if I. Okay, okay. If I was dog, allowed to. dog person. I'm yeah. a dog person. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I like dogs too, but Pooch yep. is a very special mm. pooch. <laughs> pooch, Pooch is a dog. Yeah, yeah. But I I, I named him Pooch. Oh, Pooch. Oh, right. Yeah, pooch I named is him Pooch. Okay, yeah, because because he fetches things right. and brings it okay. back, so he behaves right. like like a dog. That's why yeah, he's very friendly. <laughs> So he'll be in more of the videos, and a lot of a lot of people ask for him. It's right. funny. It's everybody's against Yeah, yeah which, everyone. I yeah. know. It gets in. What my most thumbs down video and the most number of subscribers I ever lost in one video was because I did a dead cat joke. I really? kid you not. They took it so seriously that I had you know two hundred people unsubscribed. Like that's a massive number for one video. Yeah. You know, and they were I, and the comments just <sighs> abusive because I did a. Why? Uh, because I said, oh, the best cat's a dead cat or something. No, <laughs> no the best. I'll say it again and we'll get a whole bunch of thumbs down on <laughs> this video. Awesome. No, no, the best cat is one squished under the tread of my car tires, you know, <laughs> something like that. And, and it was like. But you don't, you don't actually do that. It's it's just no, 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 no. It's just, it's <laughs> yeah. just the joke of yeah. that's how much I don't. Yeah, I despise course. cats, yeah. you know, yeah. and. Um, no. No. I mean, cats, I uh, cats, oh. have a huge uh, gossip distribution also, by the way. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. My aunt has a cat, right. and I wouldn't get close to that animal, but... Uh, Got my, it. Yeah, my cat's very friendly. <laughs> anyway, don't thumbs down the video because of the squish cat. Right. On that note, I yeah. hope you like this little sit-down yeah. thing. We just turned on the camera. Yeah, and it was on. just very, you know, yeah. un unscripted and so on, so I hope you enjoyed we, it. We could go all day, but, you know, we're yeah. actually almost out of memory card, and... Uh, yeah, because I didn't plan properly. No, it's fine. It was great. I'm very happy. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm a professional video blogger. Like, I come like half half ass. Plus, look at this beautiful background. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. Everyone cheers. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I filmed in front of a live studio audience. Yes. Mm. All yeah. right. All right. Thanks, awesome. Sharon. No problem. Catch you next time. See you guys time. next time.